Welcome back to the last part of our series, White Belt. So over the last couple times we've been together, we've learned a lot. We've learned about how honor, respect, and authority are all key components to living a life for God. But truly, one of the greatest tests that we'll have to endure is the test of obedience. So let's see how some of the characters in our story respond to this test under some serious pressure. Tia, you are undone. When you honor your master, you will learn to honor others. When you honor others, your master is pleased. It is a circle. Respect yourself enough to control yourself. Do not let anyone take away your ability to choose. You have obeyed and served me well. That sets you free to learn everything else I have for you. Yeah, so I've been thinking. What about? About what Master Silas said. Well, which part? All of it. I think he's right. I've been out of control. I thought I was being strong when I tried to do things my own way. I'm starting to see that being strong is choosing to obey, even when I might not want to. Yeah, I mean, when you think about it, we all pretty much want to do things our way. And that's not strong at all. It's just normal. Strong people do things differently. Yeah, strong people follow authority. They obey. Wow, you've changed a lot. Hmm, I guess I have. Well, Master Silas says we're ready, and I don't know what that means, but I hope we get to see some action. Today we'll choose sparring partners from among you. You'll each demonstrate how to obey commands immediately and show the benefits of doing so in a fight. Do you understand? Yes, yes, Master Silas. We'll begin with Ian and Mason. Please come into the cage. They're getting in the cage. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mason, your main objective is to take Ian down. Ian, I will guide you through the fight. You are to obey my every command absolutely, immediately, and without fail. Do you understand? Yes, yes Master Cyrus. Very well. Fight! Combination one. Chris. Chris. Combination two! Small! Combination three! Enough! As you can see, Ian was distracted. He no longer obeyed only me, and it cost him everything. Ian, out! Angel, in the cage. Angel? Watch, you'll see. Angel, you obey me completely, immediately, and without fail. Do you understand? Yes, Master Silas. Very good. Fight! Combination one! Combination one! Take down! As you can see, Angel obeyed my every command without hesitation and without wavering, even when other voices were telling her to do something else. She earned a great reward and received a great victory. Very good. Wow, you were amazing in there. Thanks, really, it's all Master Silas. He guides me well. Yeah, but what if Master Silas isn't there? Well, the more I learn to obey in practice, the more I can obey in real life. It just becomes second nature. Wow, I don't think I could ever do that. You can't, trust me. I used to be in all kinds of trouble, but that was before I learned the secret. The secret? There's strength in obedience, especially when I don't want to obey or when I don't understand. If I obey, even then I can do anything. Yeah, well, I've never been good at that. Oh, me neither. Before Master Silas, I was in all kinds of trouble. You, no way. It's true. My mom and dad brought me to Master Silas because they didn't know what to do with me. And I'm so glad they did. Speaking of mom and dad, I better not keep them waiting. Good luck to you. Thanks. Tia, Darius, I must have a word with you. You have heard about the way of the white belt, 
about honor, respect, authority, and obedience. You have come to a place that you must make a decision. You must choose. I have taught you that honoring your master means honoring others, and honoring others means honoring your master. Have you learned this? Yes, Master Silas. Then it is time for you to choose if you will begin this journey. Do you choose the way of the white belt? Yes, Master Silas. Yes, Master Silas, I do. I want you to teach me. I choose the way of the white belt. Then is it my privilege to offer this to you as an invitation to begin the journey as one of my students. This white belt is just the beginning. Let this be a reminder of what you've already learned about respect, honor, authority, and obedience. Let your journey begin. That was sweet. That was crazy. It was amazing to see how powerful Angel was when she was focused on being obedient to Master Silas. It's exactly how it is when you and I are focused on being obedient to God and the people that He's placed over us, especially our parents. Ephesians 6 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Now, some of you may be saying, oh, great, another message on how I should obey my parents. But let me tell you firsthand how obedience played out to save a life. I have a friend who is really big into training his kids on obedience. And he actually trained them to the point that whenever he yells stop, they would actually just stop moving. And one time his son was running down the driveway to go get his basketball that had rolled out in the street and he couldn't see that there was a car coming. And his dad yelled stop and he paused right in front of a parked car and right down the street came barreling another car right in front of him. It would have killed him. But it was his immediate obedience that saved his life. Sometimes we think that God and other people are just trying to control us. But the reality is we can't always see what's coming down the road of life. And our obedience, that can be the difference between an amazing story and a tragic one. But if you can learn to obey God, you're gonna have a life full of blessing. Honor, respect, authority, obedience. These are the ways of the white belt. And now that you know the ways of the white belt, it's time for you to live the journey of the white belt. And for you, your journey begins now.